You say you wanna be a star But the city is so dense and loaded You need to cover up your scars Trying to use this little selfie stick again. I remembered how good it was. Um, anyway, we're about to go out and get some muffins and coffee. And Kel had an idea. Kel had a pretty nifty little idea. What are you doing, Kelly? Where are you hiding? Come here, because I don't want to show you guys the room. It's a bit <laughs> dirty. So tell us about your idea. You wanted to do... I don't know. <laughs> Which one? Uh, the pregnancy no. diary. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, what, sorry. What? Yeah, yeah, you wanted to do a little pregnancy diary, diary yeah. where you can talk about it, you know, and They're this really might nice. not be helpful for many men out there listening, but hopefully it gives you some good vocab and as well yeah. some uh, a learning experience for those of you who are thinking about getting pregnant in the future. Yeah, and I think people want to see our little bump. Girl. Little bump? What's this, Kel? <laughs> Show us the bump. Is it a little? It's huge. Look at that. Awesome. I reckon mine's bigger. Look at that, mine's bigger. My baby's way further along than yours. You're so competitive. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go to Bowen Heads and get some muffins. Don't look at the room, don't look at the room. <laughs> As always, we're in front of the house, walking to the car. But this time Kelly's here. We're here, we're not going to the gym. <laughs> not today. <laughs> so where are we going, Kel Kel? To the coffee shop. Coffee shop, coffee shop. There is an amazing place in Bowen Heads called Starfish, right? Yeah. And it is... Hold on, just let me get in the car. <laughs> get in, Kel! <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go, there we go, unlock. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's called Starfish and it's really yeah. good. Mum, Mum found it and it has amazing muffins yeah, really and good. even better croissants with pumpkin. Oh. Oh my god, this uh, is so good. I, I love it, them. I just can't handle it. Can't handle it today, huh? A bit pregnant, preggers, yeah, up the bit, duff. A little bit. A little bit noisy. Preña. 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 What does this mean? Pregnant, but Pre in a very sort of... Derogatory like way, huh? Like cows get preña. Oh, okay, Dogs. okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We're off to Bowen Heads. We're off to Bowen Heads. So how are you feeling today? You've been a bit nauseous recently. Yeah. Tell us about your experience being pregnant. How's it been? It, has it been fun? <laughs> no, it, it's not fun. <laughs> I mean, it it is nice when you realize that you have a baby in you and you think about it and you buy things, but the daily sort of, the struggle is real. The struggle is real. <laughs> like, we, I wake up feeling sick every day mm. and it goes on for the rest of the day, pretty much. If I'm hungry, I feel even worse, but then because I'm so nauseous, I don't feel like eating anything. And even my favorite things like cheese or pasta, like I just don't feel like having any food. That's the weird thing, yeah. I think, because you love those foods and you yeah. were eating them like an animal before you got pregnant, but now you're just like, mm -hmm. do you think, like, is it, what's putting you off them? Is it the the idea of what they taste like, the smell of them, the textures, is there some specific um, aspect or you just don't feel like eating that food now? I know some women get really sick like with smells and mm -hmm. textures, mm -hmm. I've been reading about it, but for me personally, it's just I don't feel hungry. Yeah. I feel, well, I've, I know I have to eat and I kind of get like okay I really like cheese or whatever but then when I'm there looking at it it's just like I don't want it it's just like the pizza we got the other day I had like two pieces and yeah. it was just like it, that, it what just did you order you like, ordered a pizza and it was like half peri peri Mexican or some spicy thing and then half um, what was the other half? It was like a chorizo or something. Chorizo, like a margarita with a bit of sausage on it or something and you ate that but then you were like this other one looks gross and I'm yeah. not eating it. And I love chicken. That's my <laughs> yeah. favorite thing. So I don't... That just, would have never happened in the past. Not at all. I would have started with this one. Mm -hmm. because with the one I that like you didn't it. eat. Yeah, I like it so much. <clears throat> I don't know. It's just that that's the most weird thing that's happening. The rest is just fine. Like, I'm not, I'm not putting, putting on a lot of weight yet. <laughs> so it's fine. Um, not vomiting a lot. I feel 
really sick, but I don't vomit. You only I vomited once. once. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. What happened then when you vomited the first time? I think we were in the car, right? Yeah. And I normally, without being pregnant, I get motion sickness yeah. anyway. You don't do very well in cars. No. At least when you're not, when you weren't pregnant, it would be like if we were driving around. Um, really bad corners like if yeah. you go down the great ocean road it tends to be pretty horrible yeah yeah so if you're going down the great ocean road it tends to be that's when i would get motion sick if we were going down fast and you're constantly like Ooh. Yeah. But, but for me it's you so can't bad. even read i can't even use my phone in the car for example. yeah normally normally and uh we were coming back from your grandparents place in melbourne yeah and which is about a two-hour drive <laughs> I, I, I just couldn't handle it anymore and I just <laughs> yeah, we, got it. we were so close. I know. We were one no. turn, one turn away from our house and <clears throat> dad was driving and Kel's like, give me the bag. And we were like literally a minute away from getting home and you puked in the car. Yeah. In front of my dad. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then he was turning the um, fan on. So it was like... Aircon up, aircon yeah. up. It's all good, it's all but, good, it's not easy. It's not, I can't imagine, you know, the hormone changes yeah, yeah. and feeling nauseous all the time. That would that would get to me, I think, that would frustrate you, me. At the end of the day, you're just so tired of feeling so sick. Yeah, like, yeah. And I don't know if other women experience the same, but I have every day when it's kind of like getting dark and around like six, seven, I mm. get quite unsettled like I'm just uncomfortable I don't know if it has something to do with the hormones or if it's just because I'm tired of feeling so sick yeah but I just get really like I can't do anything like I don't if I in bed I'm uncomfortable if I get up to do something else I'm uncomfortable it's just yeah really, you've been like, finding it really oh. hard to get to sleep right recently yeah. and it's not the stereotype is that it's morning sickness, which is what I assumed yeah. before you got pregnant. I'm like, oh yeah, you'll be, you know, sick in the morning and then the rest of the day you'll be fine. But it's more like all day sickness. All day sickness and I find it really hard to sleep as well. And which week did this begin at? <sighs> Probably, yeah, this, I was six weeks. I mean, I'm yeah. eight now, but yeah. yeah, six weeks, that's when it hit me. Yeah, and yeah. fortunately though, it's only meant to last for five to six weeks, a but month and a half or so. But the thing is... Usually. Yes. Usually. Yes. That's what everyone's telling me. Yeah. But Most women have been saying, oh, don't worry, after 12 weeks you'll feel fine again, and you'll feel like superwoman. Yeah. You'll be like, imagine. yes. Now, right now, it's really hard for me to imagine I'll feel so great. Like, <laughs> no. But then there, we watched a... a um, I don't know if it's a documentary, but mm. more or less a documentary on birth, childbirth yesterday. Mm. And the girl that was on there, the Indian one, yeah. was like, I felt nauseous every day for eight months. Eight months, yeah. So I can't imagine that feeling of being sick for eight months. And then, you know, it must feel pretty good once you're finished. <laughs> it must feel pretty really good after you finish. Such um, a relief. Yeah, and you're like, oh, I don't but, feel nauseous yeah. anymore. <laughs> but everyone is telling us that you know, after those first weeks, something, you know, happens and you just feel great. Even your mom saying that you feel mm. like you can do anything. So I'm really looking forward to feeling like that <laughs> because right now it's just really bad. So how do you think it's changed your life, your day-to-day -day routine at the moment? If you weren't pregnant, mm. what would you be doing that you, you currently can't do? I would probably be having a lot of soft cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, it's hard because I know there's something happening, happening inside me, but you don't feel much different, like physically speaking. Yeah. You know, you feel sick and you feel, you know, moody or something happens and you just remember, oh yeah, I'm pregnant. But you look at yourself in the mirror and you're just like, I'm the same. And you don't realize how much you're gonna change like with your personality and stuff. So it's not, I'm still digesting the, th the whole thing, like, mm. yeah, I'm pregnant, but I do think when I'm, I haven't eaten for the whole day, for example, and I know, like, I would definitely go to bed without having anything, but I'm like, you know, I, I have to eat. I think that's it's, one of the most difficult things, healthy, right, yeah. is that you're constantly don't, you're constantly not feeling like food at the moment, but you yeah. know that you need to eat because yes, of the baby. Yes, And to give it nutrition yes. and, and, you know, what it needs. So yesterday, you you were like, 
barbecue and stuff and mm. I didn't want to have anything but I know I don't usually have meat because well we've been eating meat a lot the first the <laughs> last three weeks but we I just don't feel like having anything but I was like I have to I have to have something yeah. more substantial and yeah that's probably that's the main it's the weirdest right thing now. with Kel having to force her to eat food. Usually you're pretty good with food. You're pretty yeah. like yum 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 yum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um apart from that, you just you, you know, I I keep thinking you buying things like I go out and I see baby stuff and I want to buy them. Mm. And it's just you get used to I'm getting used to Understanding, I guess, and yeah, I have a baby that's gonna be born in like seven months. Has it hit you yet? Do you think? I mean, <clears throat> you keep asking me, like, yeah. do you feel like a dad yet, or like it's gonna happen? Is it has it hit yeah. you, Pete? And to be honest, it hasn't because obviously, yeah. <clears throat> the only the only thing that I notice is that you're feeling a bit sick, right? That That's yeah. the only change for me. And more emotional. Yeah, and it's an external thing for me. I don't have this internal change in hormones and feelings and emotion and everything like that that you're going through. But has it, hit, has it properly hit you yet that you will have this parasite baby crying and keeping you awake and, you know, eventually leading, leading you to be... Um, an amazing parent in yeah, seven months from now. Has not that hit really. You yet? Like, maybe I'm just not conscious about it. Like, mm. if I wasn't pregnant, I would be like, let's travel, let's do, you know, other things. Mm. But it's really fine for me to be like, I can't do that. I can't just, you know, decide, I can't just go away and do other things because I have to very soon I'll be I'll have a baby and I have to take care of him or her but I think it's a very subtle change you yeah. get used to it and I'm sure when I have a big belly and the baby's moving and I'll feel more like a parent but now but the, at the same time I'm reading a lot of a lot of things about parenting so I'm trying to get you know ready. up your skills yeah because that that scares me more than the pregnancy, I think being a parent and educating someone kind of scares me. Yeah, <laughs> we are almost here. I just have to do a Yui and I'll park behind this car. Here we go, this is a little better. Used to be, so you had to take the chance, even though you got arrested. How's it going? Can I grab a large cappuccino? <laughs> Takeaway? And what about you, Kel? Hot chocolate. And a small hot chocolate. Oh, and I might grab. What do you reckon out of these muffins, Cal? What are you gonna go? Um, I might grab the dark chocolate berry one for me, please, man. But you don't need any gestures or favors from anyone, baby. So good. Is it good? Yeah. These muffins rule. Look at that chocolate. Oh, yum, Why don't you leave it all behind and come back home? <laughs> oh. Yum, 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 yum. Tasty? Yeah. And a cappuccino. Man, I'm looking forward to this. Ah, nice and hot. Just like it used to be. Right, now we're off to the beach. We'll see if we can find somewhere nice to sit down and continue this chat. Yeah. I'm all coffeeed out. Oof, too much coffee today, I think. How many? Oh, like 10. No. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably, I had two, I had one decaf as well. So there you go, three, or well, two and a half, two and a half. 
Anyway, we're in Barwon Heads and we're gonna head down to this, there's a little pier here. Hopefully there's no one on it, because we'll see. So how's it been? What did you expect before getting pregnant, Cal? What were the expectations <laughs> before you got done? Before you got up the duff? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I didn't really have any sort of expectations. Hmm. Um, I thought, I really thought the whole thing about, oh, I'm so sick, la la la, was... An overreaction? A little bit, but um, I can see it's not. <laughs> <laughs> there are things that no, not many people talk about, like... Mm. Um, because they're embarrassing and you, you, you know, you just feel like, that is it actually happening? Like I feel bloated all the time mm. and sometimes, like today, I woke up, I was like, I'm showing, I have such a good time. And <laughs> am I showing that. or am I bloated? <laughs> and it wasn't a baby, it was <laughs> something else. You go to the toilet and yeah. then you get up and you're like, oh, baby's gone. <laughs> Uh, you burp a lot, like I'm always in... She never burps, I burp yeah, all the time, I must be incredibly pregnant. <laughs> but, it, it, I hate it, I, it's just horrible. It's you don't like, like burping or no, you don't like I being don't pregnant? Like <laughs> I don't like burping, I don't like burping. You're a bit gassy as well? Me? No, me. I am anyway, I am anyway. You are anyway, but I'm not yeah. used to it. <laughs> so it's like... Mm. <laughs> and you have to pee every like 30 minutes That's to an hour. That's what makes me more like anxious, like mm. out of everything. Because you have to always think, where's the toilet, where's the toilet? I wake up four, like three, four times at night mm -hmm. and it's quite cold here. So mm -hmm. you wake up, it's cold. You it's have not to really to cold, it's just she it, thinks it's yeah, cold. It is cold. And you have to go to the bathroom. And you know that the time I go back to bed, mm -hmm. I'm already like, I need to pee again. <laughs> so I thought about getting, I don't know how you, what you call it in English, Brazilians, you know, pinico. Mm. <laughs> Just leave the pinico. Some kind of small yeah. um, bucket or receptacle or something that you can pee in that's near your bed that yeah. they would have used before toilets. Old people <laughs> would have some. People use pans, I think you would call it. Oh, maybe. A pan. Yeah, I don't know. They use them in the hospital. I can. We can get one of those for you if you want. <laughs> you got your so bucket. <laughs> I got my bucket. <laughs> no, the bucket's for vomit. We Don't just need mix. a. We need to get a mattress that we can put a hole in and then just hold it over the toilet, and you can just sleep on the mattress right there, right? And the toilet's right underneath you. Yeah. So those <laughs> are things. Like I had to get new bras because yeah. the ones I had were quite uncomfortable and yeah. no use. That shocked me. How quickly your breasts got bigger straight after getting pregnant i thought it was oh, like yeah. we found out one day the next day it was like boom <laughs> yeah. i always thought that it was like you know towards the end that the the breasts get bigger they get filled with milk or whatever that the baby needs and that happens later on in pregnancy but obviously the hormones kick in and yeah. there's some sort of you know changes occurring in your breasts but i was just like yeah, I didn't expect that. And I'm only eight I, I like weeks. it. I like it, to be honest. That, that's a good part of pregnancy, you know. <laughs> forgive me. Forgive me. But <laughs> he was like, can you just press pause? And then just say like... <laughs> but um, I'm only eight weeks, so I don't know how big, mm. you know. That's a There's big no big. upper limit. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess those are the, you know, most annoying things. But... Mm. It's really, it's really nice. I don't know. It, you think about it and you imagine you have to educate this person and try your best and love. And I was really scared of not being able to love my Yeah, what my were you child. nervous about? What were you scared about? Because you had quite a lot of preconceptions before yeah. getting pregnant that you were sort of like, oh, am I going to be a good mom? Yeah. Ugh. Well, the good mom, mom thing is always in my mind. Like, am I... Am I able to do a good job? And yeah. there's no recipe, right? You just, mm -hmm. you try your best. You have to wing it and yeah. heart, suck it and see. Yeah. But what I am doing is I'm reading as much as I can about parenting and trying to get, trying to understand what's the best for, with regards to education and stuff. But with the love issue, because you're single and you, that's the amount of love I've, I'm capable of giving i get the limit at the moment i get, I get everything <laughs> you get everything and it's <laughs> crazy now. because 
everyone's like your baby's born and you there's no way you can love someone more than you love your baby Damn and that it. scares me because how vulnerable is that like this little yeah. person can literally destroy my life if something happens i'll be like mm. that's my whole heart going away with this little kid mm. but at the same time it's amazing to think that you are able to love someone like that and you can do anything well that's what sure. i kept saying to you the whole time you kept saying how am i ever going to love someone as much as I see everyone loving their children and I say I think it's one it's naturally going to occur yeah. and two I think it's the kind of thing that's going to develop as you get through yeah. your pregnancy you have this thing inside you that you're yeah. developing a bond with and then when it's born it's just going to with your niece for example yeah I really love her like I spend time with her she's the cutest babe ever mm. and I feel connected and I'm like how can I think I will not love yeah. my baby? That's it's what I said. Like, I'm like, yeah. you already like my niece so much. Imagine what you're going to feel for your own child. So that was a big thing that you were worried about to begin with, I think. But no, yeah, it's much better now. But it was before getting pregnant. I was like scared of, yeah. you know, not being able to care and to love. But, you know, nature, nature works fine. And you just you just do it <laughs> that's it exactly yeah. and so what about parenting you've been learning a lot about that recently yeah. what are the do's and don'ts that you think you've sort of come across um that's hard because there's mm. no as i said there's no recipe right there's you, no right answer yes you don't ex you shouldn't expect to oh i will apply those rules and mm. tips and my baby will be the best ch ch child you know on earth that's the every child thing. is different yeah it's a difficult thing though because there are definitely answers that are better than other answers right and options that are yeah. better than other options but there's no definitive guide to exactly. do this four times a day um you'll you know have, and you'll have a good have, kid no and that's the difficult part for me too I want to do the best I can but I know my own limitations and mm -hmm. I also know that you can only control so much when you have yes. a child they, they're they going to have their own personality Absolutely. that's sort of irrespective of what you set up or do before that yeah and I'm really into the whole like peaceful parenting stuff yeah. because that's a very different way like from my my experience my yeah. I wasn't raised with those peacefully <laughs> peacefully <laughs> and i really think it works like i really think that's that's the you know the best advice you can get like, do you want to talk about what is peaceful parenting exactly so pe peaceful parenting is all about not understanding first of all understanding your child and respecting um their personality like you wouldn't force your friend or your partner to do something they don't want to do because it hurts and it feels it feels horrible so the whole respect towards children that's what i like and it's all about avoiding punishment mm. it's not that you're not gonna uh, teach them you know boundaries right and limits wrong. and exactly but you do it in a different way because every time they misbehave it's a chance for you to teach them something as opposed to it's a chance for you to punish well, I them I think it's a lot more based yeah. around conversations and discussions yeah. of why they can't have something why they can't do something why something they did was wrong yeah. as opposed to um, go to your room because I said so yeah. or you can't do this because I don't want you to I think yeah. from my point of view that wouldn't work on me now, so why would it work on a kid, right? Like, if exactly. someone tells you, you can't have this, and you'd be like, well, I feel like I can, so why can't I? And the person and just says, because I said so, you'd be like, well, that doesn't really, you know, sit well with yeah. me. You need to tell me more. So I think you need to sort of treat kids like that as well, like yeah. they're more like adults. Exactly. And explain to well, them why yeah, you're deciding certain things. You also need to understand the, um, the, 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 child's brain is not developed yeah. so you can't expect them to be mature and you know responsive when mm. you know you lose your temper sometimes mm -hmm. and you know it's hard i struggle with you know understanding my emotions sometimes emotions sometimes and i get quite overwhelmed from you know every now and then but imagine a child it's just really hard for them to understand what's happening like they don't they don't know any better they they just children yeah. and but the I think that's the important part. They're not going to learn without you. You need to remember you. they're children, yeah. and you need to ex you need to accept that you can't expect more. When even though you want your child to be the most well-behaved child in the room, mm. you can't expect them to be 
more mature than they actually are for the age you know and yeah. I really like that because I see a lot I mean not being judgmental here but I see a lot of people and I used to do the same with my sister or my you know um, the kids I was working with um, in Townsville you can't you get so frustrated sometimes you want yeah. them to do something and you forget like if they are misbehaving it's probably because they are they are after something else like yeah. w is it attention they are they hungry like there's always something and well, with the documentaries we've been watching yeah. quite often the kids that misbehave the most are the ones who don't have a connection with their parents yeah, exactly. and exactly. they're just looking for some kind of you know um, I guess response or yeah. some kind of attention from their parents and that's why they act out or they act up and something that I really resonates with me is um, at least in Brazil I think and I, again I'm speaking from my own um, experience the whole thing with my family was like oh don't do that the child will be spoiled mm. you hugging too much you doing too yeah. much attention it's just for me that doesn't make any sense because I can't imagine how scary the world is when yeah. you like a little child the only thing you know that's safe it's your it's your mom and your dad and you you don't give them attention or you let them cry for hours well, without going uh, there's limits right you have yeah. to be not overbearing you can't yes. be the overbearing mother that protects them from everything you have to you have to let them expose themselves to the world and risk being yeah. hurt or in danger but at the same time be there for them you as need a to support. be there all the time and you need to be as a, you know affectionate and mm. caring and there's no limit for that that's one thing that if you get if you want to get something from like peaceful parenting stuff just be there and give yeah. as much love as you can like there's no limit you you're free to give as much love as you can because that's mm. that's what makes them safe and they connect with you and they trust you and that, yeah. that's their world like that's you are the only thing they have when they're little at least exactly so. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's that's been, about it's been it. good to, to learn about it. That's where we're at currently, so who knows if that's what it'll actually be like later on during <laughs> the pregnancy or we when the come. baby's actually born. <laughs> but, um, yeah. the sun's getting in my eyes. Maybe Mine we should too. we should finish up there, guys. Hope <laughs> okay. you enjoyed it. Um, but, yeah, Kel thought this would be a fun idea to sort of sit down and do a pregnancy yeah. diary kind of thing where we can chat about what's happening with Kel and what we're planning and, and things yeah. we're learning and stuff just to talk about different things in English so hopefully you enjoy it yeah and we you probably talk about more, all the things in ne the next video or something so, yeah let's yeah. do it anyway thanks cool. for joining us guys <laughs> chat soon ah.